9.2 let vtp is equal to negative 0 0.8 voltage and kb prime w over l is equal to 4 milliampere per voltage square neglect channel length modulation a part is asking find which in this video i'm just going to do the a part b part i will do in my next video so let's look at the a part the a part is asking for vg1 is equal to vg2 is equal to zero voltage find v over drive and vsg for each q1 and q2 also find vs vd1 and vd2 okay and if you look at the circuit the circuit has a 0 0.5 milliampere going through this and uh, if you look at each side these are matched we have vg1 equal to vg2 and both of them have the same kp prime w over l and uh, same resistor and everything so these two are matched so the current is going to flow equally so 0 0.5 is going to be half of it going to flow through this half of it's going to flow through this okay that's the only thing we have to know other than that uh, we have to find out the V overdrive. To find out the V overdrive, we can use the current equation. The current equation is given by I is equal to half mu naught zero x. But in this case, they have given as Kp prime, so we can use that Kp prime W over L V overdrive square. And here we are interested in finding the V overdrive. And do we have all the other things available? We have the current available that is basically this current divided by 2. So you have to just put uh, 0 0.5 milliampere divided by 2 or you can just put it as I divided by like uh, to be make the equation better. Let's say this current is I. Okay. If this is I then this one must be I divided by 2 because we are looking at one side and uh, if we just solve for the one side then we have to take one of the current that is i divided by 2 here this is this is i divided by 2 this one also i divided by 2 okay so let's go ahead and solve this we are interested in v o v square we have all the other information available so if we rearrange this equation v o v is going to be equal to i divided by 2 divided by half kp prime w over l and uh, here this half and this two cancels each other so and also square root because of this v of square so this is going to be square root so this is going to be square root of i divided by kp prime w over l now let's plug in all the values i is 0 0.5 so put that one in and then kp prime w over l that is provided to us that's 4 milliampere per voltage square and this one is 0 0.45 milli and this one is uh, 4 milli 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 cancer so 0 0.5 divided by 4 which is 1 over 8 and if we square root this one that's going to become 0 0.354 voltage and that is our v over drive and this is going to be a negative because this is a PMOS. How do you know it's PMOS? You can see that arrow going inside of the gate. If it's NMOS, it should be coming out of the gate. And also from the VTP provider, like you see VTP, if they mention KP, that's a PMOS. So you know that this is a PMOS and then 3, 5, 4 voltage this is. And then this one is going to be negative 0 0.354 due to PMOS configuration. Okay, so that is VOV, and then they are asking us to find out the VSG. Now, if you have VOV, V over drive is basically VGS minus V threshold. In this case, this is a PMOS or VTP. Now, we are interested in vsg vsg is flip of vgs if you find out vgs and change the sign that's only, that's going to be the VG, vsg so if we rearrange this equation that is vgs is equal to v over v plus vtp and v over drive that is negative 0 0.34 354 and then vtp is 
negative 0 0.8 okay so that one comes out to be negative 1.154 so that is VGS we are trying to find VSG VSG is going to be opposite of this sign that is 1.154 okay that is the second part and VOV is the first one and the next one is asking for each Q1 and Q2 find VS VD1 VD2 okay so we need to find out VS and uh, the gate voltage is provided to us that is zero voltage and VGS uh, let's use VSG VSG is nothing but Vs minus Vg and uh, we have the gate voltage provider so we can use that to find out Vs so if you want to get rid of this Vs from the equation I mean we need to get rid of which one we need to get rid of the Vg from the equation in order to get the Vs okay so we can say uh, Vg plus Vsg should give Vs because if you put Vg then Vg plus Vs minus Vg, Vg Vg cancels so we, give, we will end up getting Vs and uh, Vg is just 0 so we put the one over here 0 plus Vsg which is found out to be 1.154 therefore Vs also 1.154 okay now uh, we have to find out VD1 so VD1 is the voltage right here and we have the VDD available we know the current also so we can use the KVL right here KVL is basically this one minus this one should be equal to whatever we have right here okay So if we apply KVL over here, the equation becomes VD1 minus I divided by 2 times RD that is equal to negative VDD. And uh, here we are interested in finding the VD1. So if we rearrange this equation, VD1 becomes I divided by 2 times RD minus VDD you know instead of putting minus VDD we can just say VDD because VDD is expressed as negative sign so we don't want to mess up that VDD so this is just uh, this one plus this VDD so I divided by 2 that is 0 0.5 milliampere divided by 2 and then the RD distance is 4k ohm so times 4k and then VDD is given to us that is 2.5 right here negative 2.5 plug the roll in milli and kilo cancels each other so it's 4 times 0 0.5 that is 2 2 divided by 2 1 1 minus 2.5 that is negative 1.5 that is the VD1 voltage okay and they are asking us to find out the VD2 voltage as well but if you look at this the resistance is same the current flowing through this one is the same and the VDD is the same so since everything is same then VD1 VD2 must be equal to VD1 so we can say VD 1 and VD2 are equal since all the parameters are same therefore VD2 also equal to negative 1.5 voltage okay and that's it that's all required to find we found out the V over tri we found out the VSG we found out the VS VD1 VD2 for both of them did we do for, like both of them the VS is 
same okay that is what we solved right here and uh, vd1 and vd2 also say vd1 is the v right here the for the first one vd2 for the second one and we found both of them and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next